head to Mittagong and uh, Southern Highlands community members concerned about plans to build a cabin nature reserve on Frencham school grounds are sitting in on a community information session as we speak. Now, this is known as the Holt Bush Accommodation. The project would house 72 Year 9 students at the prestigious girls' school and would require the removal of over uh, 11 acres, 249 trees, to make way for the building. The matter is being handled by the Land and Environment Court, and one group has been battling against these plans since 2019 is Win Zero. Sarah Keynes is part of the group and a former French student and stepped out of the meeting to join me. Hello, Sarah. Yes, hello. Good evening. Hello, thanks for chatting to us. So you've attend, attended these information sessions yesterday and today. What's been covered? Um, it's a little bit... Uh, look, despite a very reassuring tone about the meetings, it actually felt very one-sided because there was really no opportunity for debate. Um, the questions... Uh, well, we only had 24 hours notice of the meeting, so it was a bit of a right. scramble. And... Um, Questions were um, collected and collated and sent to the school um, and they were selectively answered, obviously, in one hour. Um, and this so is an, I, an that... online meeting, so uh, yeah, there's less the, opportunities yeah. to make your voices heard. Absolutely, yeah. There was there was no um, no uh, opportunity for, for members of WinZero or the public to speak, mm. yeah. Uh, well, what then uh, are your main concerns about this planned development? Well, our main concerns are that um, the school is, is hugely fortunate in owning, owning a 100 hectares site, which is the most beautiful bushland site. Um, and it seems to us absolutely extraordinary that they have chosen one of the positions in the school that is not cleared and houses a really meaningful wildlife colony, including um, ancient wombat burrows. Um, there has been a comment that there was a pine plantation on that site. Um, that's incorrect. There are some um, self-seeded pines that have come up over the years, but it's certainly not a plantation. Yeah. And that would the difference would be that uh, if it were a plantation, there wouldn't be any uh, shale woodland growth in between. But because they're random seedlings, there would be uh, plants from the original vegetation in between those. So they're not proposing clearing the entire, uh, like all of the trees in the entire lot. 249 trees. If you've seen one tree come down, you'll know what a big pile that makes. Just multiply that by 249, and it's a pretty ugly picture. And also, we have to repeat again and again, there is wildlife in that area. There are, you know, I think there were 16 species of microbats counted last time on the jib, which is uh, much realtor, which is, um, has a, a reserve on the top of the mountain. And this is the very same forest community. It's a critically endangered forest community, and there's a meaningful number of, of those trees with their inhabitants in the area that the school proposes to clear. So you say that the, uh, the questions put to the school have been selectively answered. Are you, the answers that are given, are you satisfied with those answers and the information provided? Well, I'm not, no. <laughs> because um, they looked at, they uh, have looked at six sites mm. on the school and chosen the one that has a wildlife colony um, and is uncleared. I can't understand why they would possibly not choose a site that's already cleared. Um, to me, it seems just like yet again humankind taking predominance over the natural world, mm. and that just doesn't fit with my concept of friendship. Well, the, the Win Zero website says, well, we are not against friendship school con constructing an outward bound facility on their lands. What would you be satisfied with? Where, where would you uh, be uh, okay with this? We would like to see it on land. It's already cleared. Um, and, and the school claims a huge um, uh, allegiance to the natural world. And um, th there was a very meaningful program of wildlife care going on in the very site where the uh, school wants to now clear, um, which is extremely distressing for the wildlife carer who's, who's um, been working there with the students. Um, and that, yeah, that is now obviously going to be... Um, yeah, removed completely because the, the buildings that go over the top of the wombats, Wisdom. So the Wisdom, is that the name for a... a... The Wisdom is the name for an ancient colony. Oh. They, they build um, villages, really, mm. wombats do. Um, so they have, yeah, different burrows that have different purposes. And you can't move wombats. They uh, are very territorial. Mm. They're grazing animals and they're perfectly suited to the area that they're in. Um, but you can't just sort of 
pick up wildlife and move it to another site because they're territorial and they're likely to be killed by other animals if they are moved. Okay, so where to from here? What are the next steps? Where to from here? Well, yes. Um, you have a community that's not happy. We have a, an alumni that is not at all happy. We've got uh, the, uh, the um, Win Zero campaign has reached oh, about 40,000 people have engaged with it and we've got a petition of 2,000 signatures. Um, and the way I see it, the school's got a very big problem. Um, I think that they really need to consult in a meaningful way with the community and um, make sure that they, yeah, don't damage their reputation as well as the wildlife. Um, and we're hoping for a more meaningful consultation in the near future. Okay, Sarah Keynes, thank you for being with ABC Laura tonight. Thank you very much for Cheers. hearing me. Thank you. Good night. Sarah Keynes, their former French and student and a member of Win Zero, the Winter Caribbean Net Zero Carbon Emissions. Are you going to hear some new music very soon? Some hip hop, local.
and uh, this is a prestigious girls' school, Frenchams. Some cabins, some potential cabins causing a bit of consternation. We'll talk to someone uh, who knows a little bit about what, uh, in fact, has been battling against these plans for the last couple of years. Right now.